Hello everybody. In this video, we will discuss about member specification in StatPro. What is meant by specification? In this video, we will discuss about some member specifications like member release, offset, and trust member assignment. This is a model I have made. Suppose you have assigned the property to these beams, but there are certain specifications you have to apply to these members to add the structure like your design assumptions. In Stat Pro, all the members you create are by default primary members. These all are primary members, but in your design, this is primary, but this total member, secondary members, it's giving load to this member. So you have to add these two members, like one member, means it the two members, these and these, should act like one. So this is secondary member and this is tertiary. To act the member like secondary, you have to release the moments here and here. So these two beams will act like one beam, which bending moment will be like this. Now coming to member trust. Trust members are members which only takes actual forces, not bending moments. So to make STAD understand these are trust members, you have to assign the property. And number three is member offset. Suppose here is a column. It is also a column and this is a beam. Instead, the beam length is actually node to node, but in actual situation for column depth, beam length is less than this length. So, to give the stand the actual length of the beam, you have to apply member offset to these beams. So, the bending moment will be less. So, let's give the specification to the beams. Go to general and click spec here. And this specification window will open. And here we'll see the specifications for node, beam, and plate. And the assignment methodology is same as previous. Assign to view, assign to selected beams, use assign to use cursor to assign, assign to edit list. Click on beam. Use the different specifications. The first one is release and location is star. So I am releasing the MJ here. Click on add. You see the start MJ is added. Click on beam again and change it, it to end. Click on MJ and add. So my start MJ and end MJ is added. Now I have to specify this. For this beam, the green end is start. So I'm releasing the start MJ. Click on assign. Yes. You see the start is released. I have to release the blue end of this beam which is the end MJ, click assign. So this beam is now act as one. Now coming to member truss. You see truss here, I click on add. Member truss is added. Select the beams and click on assign. Truss member is assigned. Now coming to the offset, I want to give each start a offset of say 500 millimeter. To offset start 0.5 meter, add, assign, yes. You see the member is offset by that distance. You can also offset its end also, go to beam, offset end you see this direction is global and to give the offset of these beams you have to go in negative x not positive x if you give the x 0.5 it will extend in this direction so you have to give minus 0.5 here click on add Assign to selected beams and yes. You see the length of the beam is shortened by the distance. Thanks for watching.
In the next video, we will discuss about how to apply loads on stat models. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel.